in Abidjan. Uh, I have attended the inaugural uh, forum in uh, South Africa. I would like to congratulate uh, the African Development Bank and its president, my junior brother, for the success that, and the momentum that this forum has gained. So you talked about risks. And um, I understand that when we are gathered here with investors and us representing our respective governments, I mean, um, this issue would be raised. But um, I'm asking the question if there is anything which is risk-free in whatever we do. I think it's important to have that in mind. And that there is also um, opportunities in the midst of challenges as it has been said earlier, and I think I'm well placed to, to say it uh, coming from Ethiopia. It's important that um, we um, understand clearly the nexus that exists now between peace, security, and development. I don't think there is any situation where everything will be perfect for investors to come. And um, so this has been said time and again in many uh, gatherings, but I think it has to sink in more so that we really understand that this, uh, there is the linkage between, between the two. There is no perfect situation to my view. And the other point I would like to raise is that there is always returns with investment. Um, investment um, is a risk impact. Risk is linked to uh, returns. And returns are not uh, immediate, they are long term. You know, uh, usually uh, our priorities overlap, obviously, because at the end of the day, um, it's the growth of the continent that we are looking at. Um, I will start, because you're leading me to that, with this success story that we are having in, in Ethiopia, and I think it's the best place to talk about it because we have uh, benefited from uh, the African Development Bank greatly. Bank greatly. Uh, this is the wheat production, um, which was not very common uh, in, in Ethiopia. But uh, we have um, benefited from the TAAT, Techno TAT, yes. Um, technologies for African agriculture uh, transformation. And um, now we are in the process of uh, uh, being obviously self-sufficient, but also a net exporter. There is a great potential that we have seen. And I would like to really thank for the, 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 the uh, AFDB and its president for the support that you have gotten in that regard. Uh, it's important to say because <laughs> we, we've seen that when um, there is a problem or people are fighting in another hemisphere, Africa is hungry. Africa doesn't have fertilizer. We should be in a position to consume what we produce and boosting production is very important, and we have seen it in the wheat production. As far as the priorities of Ethiopia are concerned, I, I must say that uh, since 2018, there has been a ma major shift uh, in direction in terms of investment policies for at in attracting foreign investment, domestic and foreign investment. There are some areas that we have put as priorities now, and quickly, this would be agro-processing, agriculture employs 80% of our population. It contributes to 90% for currency exchange, contributes 40% to the GDP. So agro-processing is very important, as it is to many countries. Mining is the new area that we are engaged in. I mean, we have not heard the last word of what Ethiopia has in terms of mining. We keep on discovering every single day. And this is an area that we want to push forward um, and uh, really uh, use uh, properly. Tourism, because Ethiopia has um, a, a mixture of tourism opportunities, historical, cultural, now the conference tourism, and so on. And this 
there is a huge potential both for domestic and foreign tourism as well. Um, the IT, of course, this digital area. And uh, I would also mention manufacturing because as many countries in Africa, we're producing our raw materials. Of course, infrastructure is of a great importance. I would like to mention the rail um, the, the link uh, between Addis and uh, Djibouti, and also the road, which has been lagging behind for quite so long between Ethiopia and uh, Kenya. We want to boost uh, trade in, 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 in in, and you know, in export, we have this experience of industrial parks uh, that we are uh, pushing forward. Uh, so far, the um, progress is is um, is promising. Actually, um, uh, we, we have 13 uh, public um, industrial parks and seven private parks. We can have a totally uh, private uh, um, industrial parks as well. So uh, within which we can process many of the uh, activities that I have mentioned. So we want to make use of the vast uh, mineral resources and diverse resources that we have, and that will be the priorities in the 10 years plan that we have. When women win, then Africa wins. Uh, we have to, to believe in it. In, uh, in Ethiopia, we have um, set the bar high because uh, we have had uh, fifty percent cabinet women you know high positions held by women and i 'm one of the examples of that the product of that so it 's inspiring uh, we can 't go back but just uh, moving to that direction we 're trying to make sure that the door of opportunity open to some of us would remain open to to the others and for this to happen, there is a lot that is being done. Um, at the level of universities in order to support uh, women who come to the workforce, about to come to the workforce in terms of uh, training, mentorship, um, uh, supporting them in their new ideas in, in when they go to the workplace. Same applies to, to the youth. Um, the proportion is the same. We have 70% young people and uh, many incentives are being created for them to have, you know, uh, startups in, in, in many uh, sectors. And uh, so we uh, really encourage them. We, policies have been put in place in order to give uh, that advantage to, to the two groups, women and a young population. Uh, obviously, mathematically, it's very difficult to move forward if we don't have half of, of the population and 70% of the population. So this is a, a big um, focus for, for the government. Il faut uh, <laughs> que l'on change uh, le prisme à travers lequel on voit l'Afrique. Je crois que c'est très important. L'Afrique qui a faim, l'Afrique uh, qui est en arrière, etc. Et, uh, appartient uh, au, au temps passé. C'est un continent qui bouge et il faudra l'accompagner. Deuxième point, il faut changer euh, le narratif autour euh, du continent euh, et, euh, et éviter que ce continent soit toujours décrit euh, sur le côté euh, négatif plutôt et avoir un effet de loupe sur ce qui ne marche pas alors que la plupart des choses fonctionnent. Ensuite... Je pense euh, qu'il faut changer ce paradoxe d'un continent riche, d'un continent qui a beaucoup d'avenir, d'un continent qui a beaucoup de ressources et d'une population pauvre. Je crois que c'est à nous de le faire et avec le concours et l'aide des investisseurs tant nationaux qu'internationaux. Euh, en, en dernier point, je voudrais le répéter que uh, il y a toujours une opportunité parmi uh, beaucoup de défis et que, au fond, uh, la paix et la sécurité ne sera mieux maintenue que si on a aussi un apport d'investissement et que le côté développement avance uh, dans le même sens. Merci. Thank you very much, President Zaudi.